Me and personally? Yeah, definitely. I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. I had a horror run with injuries and um, probably more mentally as well. You know, just, just felt burnt out mentally. Right on him. NBA season for 13 seasons straight. Um, so it was, you know, it was good to, to just get home and get back to some normality. Playing in the NBA in Australia once or twice a week. And then obviously having a family now, your family um, kind of changes my perspective of things that are kind of um, what, what should be stressful and what shouldn't be and kind of what, what's important in life. So getting all sentimental, like I said a couple of months ago, but it makes sense. How much does those help? Oh, it's huge. I mean, you see, you see a lot of guys in our league that you know they're going through stuff off the court, but some guys get help, some guys don't. And I knew I was going through a tough time. Um, probably 11, 12, 13 at times. Um, and then obviously the pressure of starting a new family as well was playing on. There's just, just a bunch of different things that happened throughout my life off the court as well. So. Um, there were good times and bad times throughout that journey, but it's something you have to work through. But it makes you appreciate um, kind of leaving and coming back, it makes you appreciate it much more for sure. Thank you. Before you came, you guys were having like just trouble with consistency. You guys would have a big win, go on a run, and then have just a curious loss. How do you how do you keep consistency going into the playoffs? Well, I mean, credit to the Clippers for taking game two. It was it was, it was a Everything kind of lined up perfectly for us to lose that game, um, deservedly so. And um, taking anything away from what they did, but I guess just just the grind of the season and the third year of you know potentially a three P. I, I think it can, can wear on guys, both, both mentally and physically. But at the end of the day, you got to be professional. You got to come in, get another scanning report. Um, and today we were locked in from the very first play, from the jump ball all the way to the end. Uh, when you our scouts, we were physical. We matched their energy and. Um, I, feel, I feel like sometimes we feel like we're more talented than most teams and we're just going to turn it on when we have to. And that's a dangerous game to play in the playoff series. And I think we realized that in game two and we fixed it tonight. Andrew, do you feel any different now than you did the first time you were at the Warriors? Just older. Um, but um, maybe a little bit. You know, obviously, um, like, I, like I just said, leaving, leaving this situation and coming back to it, I'm very thankful to be having another opportunity to play with you know, some of the greatest players in the world. So I think um, probably just more appreciative this time around. I think when you're stuck in the moment and the pressure and, and all that the first time around, I don't think I enjoyed it and was as appreciative as I, as I probably should have been. Yeah, I know, look, I know my role. I know, I know my role in this team is to be a voice out there defensively and kind of control the paint, um, be physical, grab rebounds, and do whatever they need me to do. We've got enough, we've got enough scorers, so I um, definitely don't need to do any of that. But, yeah, I feel like I've, I've fit in pretty well. And, and not a whole lot has changed since the first time I was here as far as our offensive sets and, our, and the flow of the game. Um, but as mentioned earlier, at times there is some slippage, and hopefully um, as an older guy and guys played, played around the world, sometimes use my voice a little more and, and try to get guys going a little bit. How much tonight was about when Kevin came out. Kevin was huge for us. Um, yeah, you know, just coming out and being aggressive offensively, whether it's a good shot or a bad shot, it seems like um, sometimes he feels like he's trying to get other guys involved. Um, the Splash Brothers and, and all that kind of stuff, and he doesn't look for a shot enough. Um, and tonight he was just like shooting it. Uh, we told him, we took a couple of, of quick ones that might have been bad shots, but we told him, keep shooting them. Like, we love it. We want you to keep shooting them because we know that it's going to pay dividends to Kevin and Steph and myself and Draymond and we're all going to get over because you're demanding so much attention. So he was, he was phenomenal tonight and hopefully he can continue this. Great. Thank you, folks. Can you go up to your right to Karen right over there, please?